Go to to say that I woke up this morning to one of my videos being removed. Luckily, this wasn't a video that had gained much traffic or engagement on it since I had posted it. So not a huge loss there, but at least it was the first one. So just the warning, the uh, video code, video, the video, forgive me, was taken down for a medical misinformation strike, which I have already appealed. I even left a argument for why I, why I think it should be remain up. Um, I kind of thought initially maybe it was the thumbnail. Um, if that if they determined that if it was depicted as being in or uh, sensitive, you know, sensitive content, which it was just a picture of a a, a medical syringe you would use. So you can imagine what the video content was about. I have to be careful, right? I'm a growing channel. I have to um, I have to take these things in stride and be reasonable about what I do with the next step moving forward. I just wanted to keep you updated if you can, if you notice that you can't see video. I'm also kind of perturbed because my channel has been growing and taking off a little bit. I was watching a third video of mine um, take off again regarding Matt Walsh and Maj Ture. And then I woke up feeling like the traffic and engagement got choked on it because of the warning I received. And you know, maybe that's not the case. Maybe it is. Either way, uh, feels bad, man. But at the same time, you know, this is the kind of side of um, news reporting that I'm in. So be careful. Um, otherwise, like, the channel gets deleted and then there's no uh, me talking to you. I just want to leave that up to you. I think well, the next step for me is building a website for myself where, if, you know, follow the model of Tim. Uh, in Timcast, if you like the material of what you want to talk about, it's going to end up being too um, too much for YouTube's take. Then I think you got to build that tunnel and take the content elsewhere. And it's not like I feel like I would have much that would even threaten YouTube's guidelines. And I had even stated in the video that I had made, like, I'm going to be careful with how I talk about this. And specifically used the news article in the background the whole time then when i read the statement of the supposed executive regarding the situation i had his face and image and likeness in the video along with his quote from the source material so i appealed that i even wrote that out in the argument like i don't believe anything that i said was a statement against or that or conflicted with the cdc so We'll see how it goes, and I'll try to keep you updated. I mean, more than likely, the video probably won't get put back up. I'm not going to fight too hard to get it put back up. It was one of my first videos I had made anyway, so it didn't have a huge engagement, or it's not like I'm taking any kind of financial loss over this. But I'm um, going to try to create some more content for you and keep going. So, peace.